All right, guys. So welcome to another video for Vayu and Vima, also known as Poco X3 Pro in the rest of the world. Poco X3 Pro, not Pro. Anyways, so today we are talking about the latest update of MIUI 13.0.4.0. And uh, if you are a regular subscriber on this channel, you would know how disappointed I was with the stock version of this particular update, which was released globally, right? Now we have something custom that is the MIUI Pulse MIUI 13. Right, we will talk about all the details before we actually go ahead and install. That is the reason I'm doing an install and preview because when I review this, the main thing that I'm going to check is how incompetent or how competent who is. What I mean is the developers at MIUI or Xiaomi and the custom ROM developers like these. So in today's video, we are going to install this particular ROM step by step and we will have a quick look at it and later maybe I will do a review. So before we get into the details, there is a contest, there is a giveaway going on. You can win a splendid case for your smartphone from Phone Ops Gear. So click on the link and participate there. At the same time, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, before we get into the details, I'll give you all the warnings. You need to back up all the information on your phone because everything is going to be wiped. You need to make sure you have more than 50% battery. You should have an unlocked bootloader. Now, you also need to ensure that you've removed your fingerprint unlock, face unlock, pattern, pin, all sorts of security. And if you're coming from MIUI, remove your MI account and reboot the device once. Also make sure before you reboot, you have to remove your Google account as to be safe, right? Now, once you've taken care of all of these things, the only thing that you will need is this particular ROM because of course, we are talking about the MIUI based ROMs and you don't need the vendor separately and firmware separately and stuff like that. Now, let's see what we have here before we begin. MIUI Pulse MIUI 13 version 13.0.4.0 Poco X3 Pro works on YU and Vima Android version 12. Build date is the 23rd of April 2022. So it's a little old, but it's never too late, right? Now, based on xiaomi.eu 13.0.4 so a lot of things should have been fixed se linux status is already enforcing encrypted by default the device is fully certified in the google play store that's brilliant removed system update fully read write system replaced poco launcher with miui home new optimized version of the launcher that's brilliant that means you can use the updated miui launcher apk as well system optimization it of course includes g apps safety net has been passed flash fast boot only now once you've taken care of all of this we will first boot into fast boot mode so let's go to advanced and let's select bootloader now at this point what we will do is we will disconnect the otg over here and we will disconnect this particular phone to the computer you need to have your fast boot drivers installed you can google that there is a video that we've also made on that and you can also check the steps on telegram how you can go ahead and disable driver signature enforcement and install them now, the moment your Poco X3 Pro has booted into fast boot, if it has not, okay, press and hold volume down and power and keep it pressed till the time you see the fast boot mode. Okay, now we are in fast boot, so we will move to the computer. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to open device manager. Okay, and then we are going to connect the Poco X3 Pro to the computer. I'll tell you why we are doing this. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, as you can see, as long as it is detected as Android bootloader interface, we are good to go, right? Now, you will need platform tools, just extract them to a folder of your choice. And we will also have to extract the ROM. So for me, the ROM is in gadgets, Bima, custom ROMs, and this is the one, right? So these are the files over here. So we will extract them to the desktop just to be safe. And while this is being extracted, we will make sure that our device is being detected. So you need platform tools. So in the address bar over here, type in CMD and hit enter and type in fast boot space devices. Okay. As you can see, if you see the serial number, that means your device is detected just fine. And we've almost finished extracting, right? We have, now you can see this, right? So double click on it. Now device is detected in fast boot mode. Now we have two files over here, fastboot update ROM, fastboot first install without with data format, which means everything will be wiped. So double click on this 
it will delete all your files and photos stored on the internal storage agree yes and hit enter okay now this process will vary how much time it will take based on your computer speed on your you know usb port to your phone speed so you know it might take two to three minutes to be flashed using a computer please be patient while that happens all right now as you can see it has flashed just fine all right so what this has basically done is it has gone into fast boot so what we will do is uh, let's try to first reboot and let's go to system and let's see if it boots if it comes back to orange fox recovery then we will do a format data ideally when we ran that command it should have done uh, you know format data there itself okay looks like it is just stuck okay just when i thought that it is stuck on the loading screen it has started booting which means the flash was successful now uh, what we'll do is we will do a force reboot so press and hold this till the time you see the phone rebooting this is a trick which helps you to boot uh, most mii based custom roms faster okay it's rebooted now we'll leave it alone and we will allow it to boot for the first time i will skip the setup part and i will get back to you guys once the setup has been skipped all right and i rightly said that this allows you to fool you know this allows you to speed up the first boot process immediately it booted so you can definitely try the force reboot it will definitely help and uh, fast boot flash worked fine as well so of course it's a little unfortunate that these roms require some of these roms require you to have uh, a computer and stuff so we will skip everything here and let's go to the home screen and let's see what all we have and then we will see the other details in the complete review all right just like that we have entered the rom and uh, if you go to my device you go to all device info a lot of stuff in russian i don't know why uh, poco x3 pro 6 plus 2 8 gigabytes and uh, what is the security patch april security patch am i right or it's jan security patch anyways so this is the 13.0.4 version and let's go to display over here let's go to refresh rate we don't have 90 hertz but we do have 120 hertz i've not signed into google of course but uh, from the looks of it looks pretty decent you do have the miui dialer which means whenever you make a call it says call ended i don't know why voice over wi-fi is working just fine it might be my sim card not the rom but yeah it'll be interesting to try this rom and see what all does it have it feels that it has very less bloatware and stuff like that so i'll definitely use this and share the review with you guys let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video guys until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye